Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do a basic SES extraction for American Truck Simulator. Basically going from the C drive, to, uh, like basically going from the Steam directory of your game into the actual American Truck Simulator document space and how you can actually import models in Zmodeler from it. So let's get started, shall we? Um, well, before, before I get started, what the only program you're going to need for now is a program called SES Extractor. I will go ahead and link it in the description. This is basically the program that you will need in order to actually extract the files. Um, so I guess we'll, I'll just start on the extractor now, but you can go ahead and extract it to your desktop, just like that. And it only takes like half a second. So go ahead and leave it there for now. Now, your American Truck Simulator folder will be located in your C, C drive, um, from x86. Then scroll down to Steam, go to Steam Apps, Common, It'll be under American Truck Simulator. Now, mind you, this same procedure also works for Euro Truck Simulator too. Um, so let's go to American Truck Simulator, and now right here, you'll notice we have different we have different archives. So the main one that has all the if you're gonna be if you're gonna be editing models and stuff like that, you're gonna want to extract your base file. So here's what we do: go and you open your SES extractor. Now, right here, there's two, there's two lines. One is SES archive, one is your target directory. Go ahead and, let's go ahead and find that archive, shall we? So make sure it's Steam, Steam Apps, Common, ATS. Well, for now, I'm gonna load the, I'm gonna load the definition file, just to save time. So go ahead and do that. Now your target directory, you can change this too. Now for that, well, for me, it's located under my main documents folder, so go to, well, for my case, it's gonna be Robert. Then go to Documents. It'll be under American Truck Simulator. Then from there, hit OK. And so make sure, so don't go into any subfolders unless you really need to. Just make sure it's under your American Truck Simulator folder because that's where everything is going to get extracted. So let's go and extract. Um, you don't have to worry about that. Just hit OK. Now, depending on certain archives, it may take longer than others. Don't worry. If, it, if you feel it's been taking a long time, it hasn't crashed. Like, it's just doing its thing. So just let it do its thing. It takes about five minutes. If it's a big file, ten minutes maybe. If it's a huge file, like the base, base SES file. But since I have everything extracted to my documents folder already, so basically what, what you just saw is after it's done extracting, it'll automatically open it. That's just a way of it letting it know that it's already done. So I'm gonna close that. Now from there, you'll notice all your definition files will already be extracted. And then from here, you can go ahead and, like say if you wanna, if you wanna edit something, I actually have a separate projects folder, but just for, just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna just go and make a new pro folder called side projects. say test just one or test now say say if you want to make an external mod what I usually do is I copy whatever I need out of this definition folder and put it in a separate folder by itself you don't want to tamper with their with your native or I guess you don't want to tamper with your vanilla um, extracted files because these you're gonna use these as a base but let's just let's just say I want to make a simple truck mod so let me go to vehicle truck um, no, we're going to here. Test. Well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm actually going to create the folders that I'm going to need to, in order to modify a file. So let's go to vehicle. Go and create a new folder. Truck. It's very important that you get this directory correct. Make sure you get this series of files correct, otherwise your mod will not work. But carrying over from the, if those of you who have modded H of Steel Holland, you'll pretty much know what I'm talking about. Feel free to skip this step if need be. This is just for all the newbies. So. Yeah, you know, actually delete that folder because we're already in truck. So let's just say I want to make a just a simple just a simple mod. Like let's say I want to add something to something. Oh man, let's see bumper. Let's do bumper. Bumper. Now from here, here let's do five seventy nine. So from here, we're already in there. So go ahead and just just leave that folder, leave it the way it is. Now we're gonna go ahead and open Zmod. If you don't have Zmod of Zmodeler three, I suggest you buy it. Um, increments can go from one month subscription goes for like four fifty a month. That's usually what I get just because I'm in I'm in school. I work I work as well. So usually the month the month to month subscription is all I need, which it helps it helps me out a lot too. Like because some months I'll be modding a lot, some months I'm gonna be modding a lot. All right, so. Um, all right, so once you go ahead and open Z Modeler, go ahead and well, let me make sure my licensing is correct. So this is just a separate step for Z Modeler. I was gonna make sure that it 
that, that my license is correct and verified. If you're trying to copy that license, you, you need a verification code, so you're out of luck there. All right, so let's go to Documents, American Truck Simulator, Vehicle, Truck, Upgrade, what was I, Bumper, 579, and let's just import one of these. Let's say Bumper, I don't know, 02. Now, it's always important, if you want your materials to load correctly, you, you have to get this step correct. You got to make sure, even though it says Base SES, um, there's different ways of doing it. This is usually the way I do it. If you found another way that works, good, um, awesome, do it. But this is just the way I do it. So I usually locate my, I'm gonna go, usually how I locate my folder is I go to browse, or my, your your username, and documents, American Truck Simulator. That's all you gotta do. Don't even, don't even do a subfolder. If you do a subfolder, it's not gonna work. Just do American Truck Simulator. So once it's already there, uh, you don't need to worry about your mod folder too much. I usually just leave that. That's already, that's actually set to ETS2. But um, this little checkbox here, that's retain retain mat names. That's if you want it to read the actual auto mat names. It'll if once you open your material browser, it'll say the actual. It'll say like a heck so a decimal number. I usually leave that unchecked. So let's go and import it. Bumper row two. Oh. You know, sometimes Z modeler does this, so skip that. Yeah, and we're back. All right. So once you've got it opened. So you'll notice that you know I'm not sure if you if you noticed when you imported the actual Peterbilt 579 model that the model looked pretty bare. That's because every part is accessorized, like the bumpers, the mirrors, the, even the skirts for that matter. So let's just say we want to do I don't know. I'm just, I'm just gonna add something. Let's do a cylinder. I don't even care at this point. I don't know. We'll just call it a floaty. I don't. I don't even know. So now go to select. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, before I do this, so you'll notice the cylinders here. So just in terms of making a simple mod, all your accessory files are going to be set under a default variant. So I'm pretty sure you remember these from the Holland days. It's just setting up default and whatnot. Um, the Zoom modeler actually has a feature, built-in feature, where you can actually force it to read a default variant upon export. It's really good for accessories and certain types of trailers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and link it there. This is all basic Zmod stuff, by the way. So go ahead, go, go ahead and skip this step if you need to. So I sign into Material. It's not even mapped, but that's okay. As long as your texture is assigned, that's all that matters. Now, this is a very important step too. Upon exporting, make sure that your mod has the respective um, origin directory or the root. Make sure the root node is actually reading it correctly. This 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 is what a healthy one looks like. It'll actually say it correctly. It'll say vehicle truck upgrade bumper Peterbilt 579. Go and hit OK. Apply it. Auto mode. Now what I did was I went to select single. I just selected the outside one. If you select quad, if you, if you select quad and you try selecting the entire thing, it's not going to work. See? It's not there. So always select the actual one. This is, it's actually, I don't know if you notice, but every time I unselect and select it, it selects bumper 02, the actual parent node. So make sure it selects that one. Now, when you're exporting, let's go to export. We're in a side project on the desktop. Test, that's my test mod, vehicle, truck, upgrade, bumper, it's not nine. Now, bumper 02, let's call it that. All right, now, um, it doesn't really matter. Well, actually, you know what? I'm sorry. It does matter because, because, because it'll also it also use those existing material files in Zmod, and from, from where you imported it, and it should it should play it back the exact same way. There should be no need for external editing unless you want to edit it to your to your liking or if you haven't set up materials properly in Zmod. So and always make sure your default variant checkbox is checked. So let's export. Um, I usually just I don't pay attention to message bar. That's that's for a diff different thing. So you'll notice that upon export, we have some new material files. This one is your shadow texture, which this, that's actually a basically, a, it's actually a dummy mesh. And basically, yeah, all it's designed to do, it's actually designed to, to project a shadow. That's all it's designed to do. Uh, your lamp, this actually controls your lights on your bumper. So those, those little light nodes right there, it controls those. Your color, that's the actual paint 
the actual paint skin that supports your paint jobs and your color. The reason it's set under Flip Flake is because this paint job does support metallic paint jobs as well. And details, that's just for all the extra nitty gritty that we really don't need. So I'm not going to save it, I'm not going to need it. So once you're done, go back. So once you're in your test mode, go into the folder. Once you reach to your vehicle, go ahead and create a mod out of it. Um, for those of you who have modded Holland, you should know how to do this already. All right, now here's here's where it gets fun. Documents, American Truck Simulator, Mod Folder, just paste it there. Now let's go ahead and run ATS. Now make sure you go to your mod manager because you need to activate this new mod, all right? Let's see if I can find it. I, there it is, test mod. Go ahead and confirm it. Continue. Oh, that's just that's just another mod I did. Oh, I'm actually, I'm actually considering releasing it sometime soon. Anyway, manager 579. This is actually another mod that I did, but if you'll see, look, it worked. There it is. There you have it. That's your basic test mod. So hopefully in this video tutorial, I actually outlined how to extract your files to your main main your main your document folder and also creating just a basic mod. Um, you how, Actually, how I learned was through trial and error. So I'm trying to make this as easy as I possibly can for you guys. Um, I'm hoping to do more tutorials more late later on in the foreseeable future but hopefully this is just a big stepping stone to get a lot of you guys to actually mod american truck simulator so i hope this tutorial helped thank you thank you again for watching and i'll see you down the road